Here's something I just finished up. I actually made this hatchet a little while ago, but uh, I never got around to putting it in a scabbard. So, got a special request for it. So this is a safety pin. Pretty much, it pretty much just stays in there until you need to flip it out, and then the hatchet comes out with a little twisting motion. It will just stay there. You know, I put that safety in there basically for when you're jumping around somewhere. I gotta say, I really don't like working with Kydex, so don't ask me to do it except uh, under special circumstance, like you're buying one of my hatchets. Then I'll do Kydex for you, but I'm not doing any custom Kydex for other people. I call this the Ehawk LT. It's a half inch thick tool steel blade, grade 8 bolts holding it together. Little pry bar tip. Got a baked on wrinkle finish and it's aircraft alloy handle. It's mostly intended for hacking up metal. So, you know, getting escaping from a uh, some kind of aircraft wreckage. And uh, it We'll do some camp chores. Here's the Ehawk LT again. I just flipped the blade upside down. Now I wouldn't go on the in the Kydex anymore. <laughs> You'd have to have a separate holster for upside down carry. You can also put the blade on the other side of the curve, too, depending on personal preference. Now here, as on a lot of tactical hatchets, you do expose your finger to an edge. So if you were going to wear the blade this way, I'd suggest throwing in a, a Turk's head knot around here just to keep you from sliding up there. So this could give you a more aggressive hacking. Originally it was set up the curve on the outside to kind of distribute impact forces.